Are you breathing? Okay, we've been working kind of hard this month, wouldn't you think? We've been doing a lot of internal rescripting. Uh, last week we talked about the path being provided and how we have to prepare our inner to rise to meet the path that the universe has prepared so we can get on with our mission. So we've been talking a lot about the mission, who we are, our path, our sacred spirit. So today we're going to make it really simple. I want to do a little bit of review uh, just for clarity. And this is good for me. I love it when spirit talks to me in very simplistic terms because I learn. You know, we try so hard to be so diligent that sometimes we just forget. We forget the basic parameters. So today we're going to talk about the universe providing. And the universe, as you know, is all about life. It's about the sustaining of the wonders of our world. I mean, it doesn't matter where you look. You can look out into the universe. You can look deep into the oceans. You can look deep into the ground. You can look into atoms and cells. It's wonders. It's just wonderful how everything is flowing to sustain life. And that's that beautiful consciousness of this universal energy that supports us all. In our world, uh, we have this flow of the divine that speaks to and guides us all. There is an energy of communication from this beautiful universal consciousness that guides life forms on the planet. We see it in nature a lot. We see um, whole little forests full of nature leaving before the fire comes, you know? And the fire might be created by a lightning strike. How did nature know to go? When I was a little girl, my father always said, watch the animals, listen to the birds. They always know what's going to happen. Follow their lead. Because there's this beautiful energy of intelligence that speaks to them through instinct. And it talks to the instinct of the creatures and tells them where to go, to live, to thrive, and to remain safe. Yes? They don't, when they feel this instinct, have a reasoning mind like we do, that says, well, you know, you do not realize how many man hours I have invested in creating this bird nest or creating this little dam in the river. They don't argue with the message that comes to them. They flow with the message that comes because there is a beautiful divine intelligence that speaks to them. Now as humans, we've evolved our little body creatures, our little human bodies, our animal bodies. We don't have that instinct. We have intuition. We have this beautiful intuition that hears and feels this divine guidance coming to us. Now, we also have that beautiful reasoning mind. So all this beautiful intuition that we get typically gets siphoned through the reasoning mind. And then the mind says, well, you don't realize how many man hours I have invested in this. Well, I'm not sure, you see? But the information is still coming. We are still being given guidance by this universal divine mind, divine intelligence that will always seek to move us to safety, life, and peace. Do you see? You feel the energy of it? <clears throat> they said, this great mind that moves herds to food is moving us to our needs being met and our desires fulfilled. The same great mind that moves the planet to be sustained is seeking to move us to that sustenance as well. The universe brings energy together to sustain all of life and to supply what the co-creator needs. And who is the co-creator? We are. We are, yes. So, the universe brings energy through this beautiful guidance system. I was speaking with someone a while back 
and they had a great concern. We were talking about intuition. And they said, you know, I hear my intuition, but what about the people who don't? What about all the people who don't hear their intuition? And the universe channeled this beautiful example, so I want to share it with you so you can put it in your brain. Um, they were showing me the man who does not listen. So, here he is. So the man who does not listen is getting ready to go to work. So he pops into the shower, and as he's in the shower, he hears a very clear message. Do not be at the intersection of 92 and Crabapple at 5.15 this afternoon. <coughs> Yeah, and in his mind, reasoning mind, he goes, I'm always at that intersection at 515. That is my path. And so he immediately gets into resistance. Do you know how often you get downloads in the shower? A lot. So he gets out of the shower, dries himself off, and he has forgotten what he heard. All he knows is he doesn't feel good. He's in resistance. Something's, <clears throat> excuse me, something's wrong. Something is wrong. I can't put my finger on it, but something's wrong. He leaves, grunts at his wife on the way out, gets in his car. Something's wrong with his car. The car is not driving right. He, he feels something. He hears something. That The tires are off. Oh, he's getting aggravated now. Something's wrong with his car. So he goes to work. Still stays a little aggravated all day. Goes out to lunch. Darn that car. It's just something's wrong and I can't put my finger on it. So he resolves that he will take his car to the car shop around the corner from his office as soon as he can. Five o'clock, gets in his car, takes it to the shop. The guys fortunately can take him. He takes his car in, the guys tweak his tires, check his oil, polish a few little things and go out to him and say, you know what, your car is fine. We just did a little tweaking, but it should be good for you. Gets back in his car and the car is singing. And it's six o'clock. And it's six o'clock. And he goes home, and everything is right in his world. Now, did he follow guidance? Yes. He was not at the intersection at 515. But he followed it through fighting. Do you understand? Through fighting. He was aggravated all day. Instead of just going, okay, for whatever reason, universe, 515, I will not be there. I'll stay and have an extra cup of coffee. I'll go stop at the grocery store. How many things could he have done rather than be agitated and fight with his guidance only to have his guidance keep him off that intersection? Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you realize how often we still are the guy with the car? We can get clear guidance, and, and really, those of you who follow guidance often, you'll get a clear download, and in two hours you forget what it was. You know, what was that? And then you realize that you're somehow subconsciously in a different pattern. We all hear our intuition. We all can be guided to the space where we need to be for the energy to flow to us. Take a breath. The universe brings the energy that we need to think and create. It brings the guidance, and that is the how. Now the what it brings is it brings the energy for our needs and our desires. When you get into the scriptures, everything is all about supply. The Bible is full of references. Even our Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. That means take care of every need I have today. Uh, Jesus said, why are you worrying about anything? If you worry about anything, it's not going to add one cubit to your height. Worry does nothing. Your Father knows you have need of everything. He will supply this. Seek the kingdom first, and everything will be added unto you. Keep your focus on you, on God, on spirit. Everything will be taken care of. Worry blocks it. We need to be open to receive. So the universe brings all the energy for all of our hopes and dreams that we can receive. Now if you're dreaming bigger, can you receive bigger yet? No, you can't. We have to grow into receiving bigger. Do y'all remember? Okay. As we seek the kingdom, we know who God is, we seek to know who we are, 
and we ask for what we want. And Jesus said, if what you want does not come immediately, you need to grow your ability to receive it. Allow the universe time to grow you, because if you allow that, then you can be put in a place that will bless the whole. When I desire and dream, I am open to receive. When I go into my will and demand, I cannot receive any greater than I am. When I go into my will, my will, it's got to be this way, and I demand, the only thing I can receive is what I'm capable of receiving right now. And if I am asking for greater, it cannot come. It cannot come. The universe does provide every single day for everything that we need and everything that we desire. But we have to be awake to opening. The two moments in my personal world where this was so clear to me happened, of course, many years ago. The first time you have one of these experiences, it's like mammoth. You can have them a million times, but the first one's like got all the energy. And I was in metaphysics. I had just come to metaphysics. Um, I had a baby, tiny baby. David was little. And ask for what you want. By gosh, I'm going to ask for what I want. That's so exciting. Everybody's asking for what they want. How exciting is this? So I was working in corporate in a pretty good job that I had already manifested. I had loved God all my life. I would manifested all my life. I didn't quite know what I was doing. But I would stayed in that pocket of God guidance always. But now I could choose. Oh, don't you know? Don't you know? I was wanting to choose. So this huge desire body was just being exploded around me. And I was on what used to be State Bridge in 400. And I can see it as clearly as if I am in my car. And I said, okay, I can quit my job. And God will take me to a job that I love. And I was so excited, I was going to quit my job. It was just that clear. And this beautiful, universal energy. It wasn't an angel. It wasn't my God. It was this beautiful, universal energy said to me, you tempting God, are you? You're asking God to build a job for you right here, right now, when you are not ready? You must grow yourself. You ask for that new job. Yes, go ahead and ask. But right now, you quitting? Really? Is that the place you want to go? And they said it that fast. I went, okay. I won't quit. But I'm going to ask for my new job. But you know what I was asking for? I had no idea. I just knew God knew what job I needed. I didn't know what I was asking for. I just knew that this wasn't where I was supposed to be. Take me where I need to be. I didn't care. Well, probably a year and a half later, as I'm going through my divorce, do you think I had some emotional things to heal? Yes. Going through my divorce, my son is two years old now, so he's still a baby. I can see the future. I can see that I'm on my path. I can really see everything unfolding, and I'm excited, and my desire body's getting bigger. And I said, okay, God, just show me. Show me what's going to happen. Just show me. And they said very clearly, as I'm packing up my house, having sold it, moving into my new space, if we show you you will do everything in your power to interfere with the process. <laughs> everything to not do it. I would be wanting to go right to the finish line. Show me that finish line, God. I'm all over it. You are not ready for that finish line, girl. And what they were going to show me in that moment, what I wanted to see, I still have not yet arrived at. Do you hear? 20 years later, plus, and the process is continuing. When we ask the universe to bring those dreams, we have to be ready to receive every step. The universe brings the energy of the opportunities, of the lessons, 
of the guidance of the people of every step that we need in our journey to our goal. And it is a magnetic relationship. We're magnetically drawing to us exactly what we can receive in any given moment. And as soon as you open up to receive greater, doesn't it flow? Okay, God, I don't have to have it purple. It can be any color. Here comes a pink. Great, that's awesome. You know, the minute we open to say, put me in a space that works for the good of the whole, I am willing to grow, but I'm still going toward my dream. The universe magnetically brings it to us. It is not magic. It's a law of the universe. It's a law. The universe is supporting the co-creators. What do you need? You're going to bake a cake. What do you need? You need your flour, your sugar, your measuring cups. <laughs> you need your supplies. You're going to create a new job. What do you need? You need a desire and a new talent. Don't you think you need a new talent if you're going to create a new job? Don't you think you need to grow something within you? If you take the same old you, you're going to the same old place, even if it looks different. We've got to be understanding that the universe never leaves us in the middle of our manifest. And, and I've had those moments too. When I'm walking with God, and I'm saying, God, show me what to do, and I get this guidance, I'm going to do this, and I walk out there, and they've got me by my little hands, and they drop me. And I'm flat on my tush. And I say, you guys got me out here. What's happening? It's up to you. It's your choice now. We put you in a space to learn. What do you want? Okay, I need to remember my dream. How did I get here? I was dreaming something, wasn't I? Okay, I'm dreaming something. What am I dreaming? How do I get bigger? How do I continue to expand my ability to receive? Do you see? All right. Our will and our desires can get all messed up sometimes. When we're dreaming, 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 and then we get so attached to the dream, we start to will it into being. We start demanding. Has anybody been there? Those are the moments when we have to understand this or greater in God's will, whatever you need to say to yourself. Because we don't want to pull back that passion. You know, that passion, I feel it, I taste it, I smell it. Yes, I want to put it out there. I want that passion out there. In my early years, I had a friend who was so over-the-top passionate. He was so excited about everything. And his prayer was always, God, I really want this. I want this. I want this specifically. But block it if it's not mine. If it's not for my highest and best good, you block it. Because I'm going all over that. <laughs> And how often do you think it was blocked? A lot. But the one thing about him, he never got disappointed. It's not mine. <laughs> He'd go off after something else with the same exuberance and the same enthusiasm. And that was his style. And that worked for him. So step by step, growth by growth, he's growing and expanding. Until one day that something he really wants is his. You know, and it's not blocked. We say this or greater, the universe provides. The dream is always being fed as much as we can receive. Most of us are looking at life-changing dreams right now, wouldn't you say? I know I, we as a church, and Patrick and I as the ministers of the church, have been seeking to manifest a new building. And I have been working a lot on that. <laughs> and I remember about six months ago, a year ago, we had a psychic fair, which is fabulous. So my question to every single reader that I went to, when is it happening? Why hasn't it happened yet? Do you know what every single one of them said? No. Oh, Cindy, you're not ready. <laughs> Me. You guys aren't laughing. <laughs> I was floored. What do you mean I'm not ready? I've been working like a tro like a Greek, building that Trojan horse. I've been working so hard to get ready. What do you mean I'm not ready? Yeah, they say you're not ready. 
oh, what do I got to do to get ready? <laughs> Tell me what to do. Well, just stay in their care. I mean, nobody gave me a what to do. Don't you know I would have been all over that what to do? What to do? And so today, August 2013, I'm finding peace at my not readiness. <laughs> I am so wanting to be ready, but I am at peace with the day until everything flows into the manifestation, which do I give up on the dream? No, I don't give up on the dream. Am I open to change whatever needs to change within me? Absolutely. Has it been an easy walk? No. 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 Have I cried? Yes. yes. <laughs> Have I prayed? Yes. yes. But when I realized that the timing, it really wasn't about me, when, when this occurs, it doesn't prove anything for me personally. It's for us. You know, when it occurs, it's not a star in my belt. It's a new way that we will affect the world. It's a new way that we will come together to express ourselves. And we need to be ready for that. So, if I'm not ready today, so be it. Because I don't want to handicap myself. One day, we'll be doing our dedication ceremony and we can all stand up and say we're ready. I'm ready, everybody's ready, you see? And until that moment, the energy is coming to us. We met with another banker on Thursday and we were showing her the property, she's a very sweet, sweet, sweet girl. And um, Patrick said, yeah, this is special. And she said, I felt it when I pulled in. They all feel it when they pull in. There's something special here with this church and this church family. So we're being fed, yes? Mm -hmm. And if we go into our reasoning mind and say, okay, clock's a ticking, we've just stepped out of our dream. You see? So holding that vision, allowing the universe to bring all that we need, all the building materials we need, to grow into a greater expression of self. That's really what our dreams are. Biblically it says, it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. How powerful is that? How awesome is that? What father, when asked for food, would give his son a rock? That's biblical as well. What father would not want greater for the son than even the son asks. That's life. That's the sustaining growth of life. Can you guys feel the dreams that you're working on right now? Do they feel heavy or light? They look heavy. <laughs> Just from here right now. <laughs> they look heavy. So perhaps we should bring some light to them so that they feel like if they can have a little more motion. You ready to do that? Because I'm telling you the truth, you haven't done anything wrong. You haven't done anything wrong. We get into our brains, we analyze ourselves, we are where we are because this is the greatest space for us to grow. The minute we turn to love and turn to God and put our hand back in the hand of, of the Christ, Father, Mother, God, your guide, whoever you visualize that you can touch, Put your hand in their hand. They go, okay, I'm going to take a break. Take a breath. Whatever next step is mine is fine. And you take that step. You're still on your journey. It's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Is it your good pleasure to receive? That's where we have to go. Greater receptivity. All right. Everything is magnetic. God is good. Therefore... Only good comes to you. You are a child of God, therefore, you're good. God is good, you are good. Okay. I just sense that there's a lot of deep manifesting going on out there. <laughs> it just feels deep. So let's just go. Let's go talk to it. Father, Mother, God, I ask that your love unfold us once again. 
And I set a beautiful column of light come over each person here so that they can feel that they are contained in your energy. And I would ask each one of you just to visualize this beautiful column of light coming over you. And I want you to notice what color and how it feels. And if you don't think you can meditate, just visualize. Imagine it. Imagine it. Your heart will give you the perfect visualization. See a beautiful light over you, vibrating. And just feel that you are lifted up that column of light into a lighter space. I want you to lift up so you can see your guardian angel waiting for you, taking you by the hand. And just see Jesus Christ there as well coming to join you. And lifting up in this higher space, it's easy, isn't it? It's an easier energy. Very light, easy to hold the angel's hand, easy to feel the Christ. I want you to imagine that you can look below and just see some of the energy of your life. And oh, it might look hard. There might be some rough edges. There might be some stopping places. There might be some expanded energies. But it's not as light as it is here, is it? I want you to feel a dream of your heart as you focus on the eyes of Jesus Christ. Feel the dream of your heart, something you have been seeking to manifest. And without saying a word, just show the Christ your dream. Feel the tenderness in your heart as you do this. And feel his answer back, I know. And as you sense that support, Jesus the Christ places his hand on your heart. And let him take all the doubts and worry out of your heart now. By worry, you accomplish nothing. By doubt, you cannot receive. Just feel him pulling out the energy of doubt and worry from your heart. And your heart gets lighter and lighter. And he just throws the doubt and worry to the universe. And it becomes pure light. Breathe and open your heart. And the Christ says, would you receive? Would you receive? And as you say yes, feel a radiant wind of sparkling light begin to move to you and through you. Beautiful sparkling light filling you with all the energy you need. I am ready to receive. Feel the peace. And take the Christ by the hand, feel your angel on the other side, and turn and look at your life. And that beautiful same sparkling wind is moving through your life now. You didn't have to do anything except receive. And this beautiful wind is riding energy. And just let it move, making things straight, opening possibilities, filling your life with vibrations of your dream until your life begins to say yes. Yes.
feel the connection of matter and spirit within you. And come back and focus on Jesus the Christ. And you know, as you come back to your world, the world may look the same in matter, but it is not the same in energy. Feel your heart expanding with gratitude. Thank you that the matter within me, the energy of the universe, supports my dream, my desire. And I am at peace. Feel the love of Jesus Christ. Feel your guardian angel. And just very gently begin to bring yourself back into your physical body, down your column of life. I want you just to feel the chair that you sit on. See the beautiful, vibrating light around you. And it's alive. It's filled with potential and peace alive. Father, Mother, God, we thank you that we are supported. We thank you that we can now receive greater. We are willing to grow. We love you, God. Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful planet where life is sustained after Feel your peace, take a breath, send your love into the room, and when you're ready, gently open your eyes. You feel a little lighter? All right. The universe provides. How? Talking to you, guiding you, bringing you into the space that will sustain and protect you. And what is it bringing to you? Everything you can hold to support your desires and dreams. Listen. No resistance. Write it down. You will forget. You will forget. Write it down. And then do it. Say yeah. Yeah.